This is the Calculus Homework Helper, number 32 on page 474. I have assumed that you've read the problem first and tried to draw a figure for yourself. Well, this is what the picture looks like. Here is the curve, the square root of x, and here's the curve x squared. Now, that looks like a complete contradiction, I understand. Here's the ironic thing. The ironic thing is that although we are integrating vertically, we have the cross-section x feet above the bottom. So in other words, let's not get lost in the letters. We actually just should have called this y feet above the bottom, but they decided to call it x. So if you pop a y in here instead of x, it makes way more sense. So here's the curve, the square root of y, and here's the curve y squared. So the outer radius is the square root of y, and the inner radius is the square root of x. The letters really don't matter here. Now what we're doing is we know this is an annulus or uh, a washer. So the radius of the hole, h w h o l e, is the square root of x. The radius of the hole, h o l e, is x squared. So we follow the method of washers. We integrate from 0 to 1 of pi times outer radius squared minus inner radius squared which is the integral from 0 to 1 of pi times x minus x to the fourth, which is pi 1 half x squared minus 1 fifth x to the fifth, evaluated, I didn't draw the evaluation bar, from 0 to 1, and that gives me 3 pi over 10. So the volume of the solid generated is 3 pi over 10. God bless you, wherever you are today.